Okay, hi there guys. Welcome again to this video regarding our game project. Uh, in the last few videos, uh, we created uh, the basic, uh, let's say, engine to our game. Uh, we created platform, uh, we created our character, uh, some kind of stupid enemy, and uh, also we added collision detection and uh, also we added uh, hit points now in this video I'm gonna show you how to add audio to the game first I'm gonna demonstrate that I hope you'll be able to hear the sound so um, check this out so first I'm gonna run the de demo here okay so um, I hope you'll be able to hear it so now I'm gonna run um, Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the running sound. Now we, when uh, our character hits an enemy, okay, so you can hear uh, this uh, this sound. Okay, so um, this okay this this one again. Anyway, so the running sound appears only when you are running on something solid. If you jump, the running sound will disappear. So now there's no running sound. Okay, and now when we, you hit the ground on run, you should hear it. Okay, so I hope uh, this uh, uh, will be clear to you. Now um, I'm gonna exit the game and explain what need to be done here or what did I add here. So first of all, uh, we have the, the folder of the game, and uh, I think you are already familiar with. If you check the other videos, you should be uh, should be able to understand it. So um, what do we have here is uh, I, I, I created this audio folder and if you open it you will find there are WAV files okay and these WAV files contain the sound you need to uh, it contains the sound you need to play so this is the sound when your character gets hurt and this is the sound when, uh, that's being played when your character runs now uh, let's go to the code and see uh, what need to be added here okay so this is the solution okay and this is uh, wait a minute sorry let's go to the modules okay so first of all I'm gonna show you uh, what to be done uh, or what should you do when your character gets hurt okay first of all uh, in order to play sound, the audio file, the audio information, need to be loaded into memory. You can load it at runtime, or you can, uh, sorry, you, you can load these uh, in the middle of the game, or you can load it before the game starts, which will make your game run runs faster. And uh, okay, so here we, here we go. First of all, you need what is called a sound buffer, and what a sound buffer is, you can think of it like an array of bytes that will hold the audio information. Okay, so uh, I have defined this one, it's the hurt sound. Okay, and this one will be played when your character gets hurt. Okay, so now uh, there, there is uh, some initialization function that you already remember if you checked the previous code. So we have init initialize 2D display, uh, initialize game window, and now we have initialize sound as you can see here. And uh, all we have to do is set this hurt sound into new sound buffer, and we we supply it with the path for the wave file. That's all. Okay. Now. Um, our problem is how to play the sound when our character get affected or get hurt. Well, if you remember from the previous uh, videos um, regarding these games that we created some kind of collision detection and uh, when a collision detection occurs the HP of the character get decreased. Well, in addition to that you can just play the sound. So if we go to the rendering loop, this is our rendering loop, uh, this is our loop here and uh, here we are checking for collision if you remember the code um, here if if, uh, if there is some kind of collision then all we do obviously is just uh, call the heard sound which is the buffer and hit the play command and the play command will instruct uh, your computer to play the heard sound and, and you hear that uh, uh, that uh, sound effect 
Okay, so this is the first thing. Okay, uh, now what about running? Uh, running is a little bit different. The reason running is different because it's asso associated with movement and motion of your character. And you need to check the status whether your character is jumping or is standing on the ground. Um, so let's see how did we do the, um, the, the movement uh, sound or the running sound. If we go to our class hero which contains information uh, about our character here you can see this is the running sound here okay and it's also a sound buffer the same technique you are creating a sound buffer that will hold the, the information uh, or the the sound effect for running and uh, if we go down here uh, if you remember these are used to load the shapes for our character running to the right and running to the left and here this is load audio file so what happens here uh, we are just specifying where the running sound effect is that's all okay so um, all you have to do is uh, add a few lines of code in the update location so um, here uh, you need to specify um, we are creating a variable which is a play running sound flag and this one is false okay so what this is it's like a flag that will tell us uh, whether we need to play the running sound or not and first we are assuming that it is false okay um, we are assuming that we don't need to, uh, to play the running sound okay so everything goes as normal and uh, finally uh, before we update the location we are gonna store the X location of our character okay B if you remember from previous code map X and map Y represent where our character is within the map so first thing to do we are storing the X and Y coordinates uh, sorry the, uh, the X coordinates we're updating the location and now if the location of our character changes and our character is standing on something solid it's not, uh, our character is not falling in that case call the uh, play running sound okay um, so here um, here I've added this uh, line of code uh, if you need to, to play uh, the running sound and maybe I should make this a little bit more obvious be I and not running sound sorry running sound dot is it playing okay um, I guess this will be something like that okay so check this out uh, wait a minute let me just update this and running sound that is playing maybe th this will make it a little bit uh mm -mm -mm -mm. okay let me think about this for a while uh, I'm changing this to make it a little bit more efficient so what am I saying here is that if uh, if our character uh, if the running sound sh should be on and our sound playing buff uh, our sound is not being played then run the, the play sound otherwise if our sound is uh, if our character is not supposed to be running or the audio or the sound effect for running is not there and uh, for some reason the sound is still being playing then just to stop it okay that's as simple as that um, yeah so let, let's try this new variation uh, I think this will be a little bit more efficient um, let me build the solution here okay and now let me run uh, this game and click here let's hope it works, let me see uh, 
Okay, so, so now it's work. Uh, it's working. Uh, you won't feel the difference, but what I did, I I, I added a few. Uh, I made a little bit of a complex if statement, but now I optimized it, and it's much better now. It's easier to understand. So if you look at this, if uh, the sound if, uh, the the sound should be playing, and the actual buffer is not playing right now then just instruct your computer to play the sound effect if the sound is not supposed to be playing and for some reason the sound is on just to stop it it's as simple as that okay so this means that we have uh, a little bit of uh, sorry we have a, a number of variables that need to be um, removed let me see ah uh, where is that <laughs> there I added a variable somewhere I don't know where that is. I'm not sure. Mm, no, sorry, it's in the hero class. Um, it's this one. We don't need this anymore. Okay. Uh, okay. So um, this is all you need to add sound effects. Of course, when you have guns, wh whenever you fire a gun, you need to add some sound effects for that, uh, and and uh, such stuff. So right now we finished uh, adding sounds. Uh, probably in the next video we are gonna uh, see how we can uh, add items to to the game and allow our characters to pick these items and use them. Um, yeah, uh, one last thing uh, that we might need here is that, uh, as you can see, the graphics in this game uh, are a little bit goofy. That's because uh, that that that's simply because our uh, <coughs> uh, I uh, first of all I am not uh, good at drawing characters. So uh, this is one of the problems. Second, the sounds also are uh, also goofy uh, because I don't have some kind of fancy recording software or anything like that. So if you are watching this, if you are interested in it, uh, you would really appreciate it if someone could help in this project by supplying a number of graphics and a number of sound files. But keep in mind, these graphics must be created by you and you alone uh, don't try to copy and paste something on the net because 90% of cases you'll be copying something licensed and uh, this will cause problems um, uh, you know for copyright and stuff like that so uh, I'm trying to make this uh, free for everyone I I don't want to use any kind of uh, what do you call it I don't want to use any kind of uh, um, copyrighted material in, in, in this game. Uh, as for uh, the audio files, I I saved these files. Um, I um, I also used uh, a number of shoes and uh, recorded their audio. Um, although they don't uh, appear uh, as shoes steps in in the in the game. So if you ha if you can record a better video, I will really uh, ap appreciate it. Finally, if you find the, uh, uh, if you have questions or suggestions regarding this game, uh, please uh, send them to notes at mka-soft. Um, also check out the website, and uh, you can download the source code, and maybe um, you can improve it. Okay. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.